All right, so we're here on the guidelines for human AI interaction so we can better understand the uh, how to put into practice the Microsoft AI principles. They have 18 cards and let's work our way through here and see the examples. The first one on our list, make clear what the system can do. Help the users understand what the AI system is capable of doing. So here, PowerPoint Quick Start builders and uh, builds an online outline to help you get started researching a subject. It displays uh, su suggested topics that help you understand the features capability. Then we have the Bing app shows examples of types of things you can search for. Um, Apple Watch displays all metrics it tracks and explains how. Going on to the second card, we have make clear how well the system can do what it can do. Uh, so here we have Office New uh, Companion Experience Ideas dock alongside your work and offers one-click assistance with grammar, design, data insights, richer images, and more. The unassuming term ideas coupled with label previews help set expectations and presented suggestions. The recommender in Apple Music uses language such as we will think you'll like to communicate uncertainty. The help page for Outlook webmail explains the filtering into focused and other, and we'll start working right away, but we'll get better with use, making clear the mistakes uh, will happen and you teach the product and set overrides. Onto our red cards here. We have time services based on context, time when to act or interrupt based on the user's current task and environment. When it's time to leave for appointments, Outlook sends a time to leave notification with directions for both driving and public transit, taking into account current location, event location, real-time traffic information. Um, and then we have after using Apple Maps routing, it remembers when you're parked your car, when you open the app. After a little while, it suggests routing to the location of the parked car. All these Apple examples make me think that Microsoft has some kind of partnership with Apple. <laughs> I guess I guess Microsoft or or Bill Gates did own uh, Apple shares, so maybe they're closer than we think. Uh, show contextually relevant information, time when to act or interrupt based on users' current task and environment. Powered by machine learning, acronyms in Word helps you understand shorthand employed uh, in your own work environment relative to current open document. Uh, on walmart.com, when the user is looking at a product such as gaming console, it recommends accessories and games that it would go with it. When a user searches for movies, Google shows results, including showtimes near the user's location for the current data. Onto our fifth card here, match based. Uh, we, didn't, we didn't miss this one, right? Yeah, we did. Okay, so we're on the fifth one here. Match relevant social norms. Ensure experience is delivered in a way the users would expect given the social cultural context. When editor identifies ways to improve writing style, prints optionals, politely consider using. That's the Canadian way, being polite. <laughs> uh, Google Photos is able to recognize pets and use the wording important cats and dogs, recognizing that for many, pets are an important part of one's family. And you know what? Uh, when I uh, started renting my new house, uh, I, I said, you know, is there a problem with dogs? And my landlord said, well, of course, pets are part of the family. And that was something I like to hear. Uh, Cortana uses semi-formal tone, apologizing when unable to find a con uh, contact which is polite and socially appropriate. I like that. Okay, mitigate social biases. Ensure AI system languages and behaviors do not reinforce undesirable, unfair stereotypes and biases. My analytics summarizes how you spend your time at work, then suggests ways to work smarter. One way is to mitigate biases by using gender neutral icons to represent important people. Sounds good to me. A Bing search for a CEO or doctor shows images of diverse people in terms of gender and ethnicity. Sounds good to me. The predictive uh, keyboard for Android suggests both genders when typing a pronoun starting with the letter H. We're on to our yellow cards to uh, so support uh, efficient invocation. So make it easy to invoke or request AI system services when needed. So Flashville is a helpful time saver in Excel that can be easily invoked with on Canvas interactions and uh, that keep you in flow. On Amazon.com, oh, hey, there, got Amazon. In addition to the system giving recommendations as you browse, you can manually invoke additional recommendations from the recommender for your menu. Uh, design ideas in Microsoft PowerPoint can be invoked uh, with, the, uh, with the press of a button if needed. I cannot stand it when that pops up. I always have to uh, tell it to leave me alone. Okay, support efficient dismal, uh, efficient dismissal, dismissal, oh, Support efficient dismissal. Okay, make it easy to dismiss or ignore und undesired AI system services. Okay, this sounds good to me. Microsoft Forms allows you to create custom surveys, quizzes, polls, questionnaires, and forms. Some choices, questions trigger suggested options. Position beneath 
the relevant question. The suggestion can be easily ignored and dismissed. Instagram allows the users to easily hide or report ads that have been suggested by AI by tapping the ellipses at the top of the right of the ad. Siri can be easily dismissed uh, uh, by saying, never mind. I'm always telling my Alexa, never mind. <laughs> Support efficient uh, correction. Make it easy to edit, refine, or recover the AI system uh, when, the, when the AI system is wrong. So alt, auto alt text automatically generates alt text for photographs by using intelligent services in the cloud. Descriptions can be easily modified by clicking the alt text button in the ribbon. Once you set a reminder uh, with Siri, the UI displays a tap to edit link. When Bing automatically corrects spelling errors in search queries, it provides the option to revert to the query as originally typed with one click onto card number 10. Scope services when in doubt. So engage in disambiguation or gracefully degrade the AI system service when uncertain about a user's goal. So when auto replacement word is uncertain of a correction, it engages in a disambiguation by displaying multiple options you can select from. Siri will let you know it has trouble hearing if you don't respond or talk or or speak too softly. Bing Maps will provide multiple routing options when uh, when unable to recommend best one. We're on to card number 11. Make clear why the system did what it did. Enable users to access an explanation of why the AI system behaved as it did. Office uh, Online recommends document, uh, documents based on history and activity. Descriptive text above each document makes it clear why the recommendation is shown. Product recommendations on Amazon.com include why recommend, recommended link that shows that what products in the user's shopping history informs the recommendations. Facebook enables you to access an explanation about why you are seeing each ad in the news feed. On to our green cards. So remember recent interactions. So maintain short-term memory and allow the user to make efficient references to that memory. When attaching a file, Outlook offers a list of recent files, including recently copied file links. Outlook also remembers people you have interacted with recently and displays uh, them when addressing a new email. Uh, Bing search remembers some recent queries and search can be continued uh, conversationally. How old is he after a search for Keanu Reeves? Siri carries over the context from one interaction to the next. A text message is created from the person you told Siri to message to onto card number 13. Lucky number 13. Learn from user behavior. Personalize the user experience by learning from their actions over time. Tap on a search bar in Office Applications and Search Lists uh, the top three commands on your screen that you're most likely to need to personalize. The technology called Zero query doesn't even need to type in the search bar to provide a personalized predictive answer. Amazon.com gives personalized product recommendations based on previous purchases. Onto card 14, update and adapt uh, cautiously. Limit disruptive changes when updating adaptive, adapting the AI system's behaviors. So PowerPoint designer improves slides for Office 65 subscribers by automatically generating design ideas from to choose from. Designer has integrated new capabilities such as smart graphics, icon suggestions, and an existing user experience, ensuring the updates are not disruptive. Office Tell, uh, Office Tell Me feature shows dynamically recommended items and a designated try area to minimize disruptive changes onto card number 15. Encourage granular feedback. Enable the users to provide feedback, indicating their preferences during Regular interactions with the AI system. So ideas in Excel empowers you to understand your data through high level visual summaries, trends, and patterns. It encourages feedback on each suggestion by asking, is this helpful? Not only does Instagram provide the option to hide specific ads, but it also solicits feedback to understand why the ad is not relevant. And Apple's music app, love dislike buttons are prominent, easily accessible. Number 16, convey the consequences of user actions, immediately under, update or convey how user actions will impact future behaviors of the AI system. You can get stock in ge geographic data types in Excel. It is easy as typing text into a cell and converting it to stock data type uh, or geograph geography data type. When you perform the conversion action, an icon immediately appears in the converted cells. Uh, upon tapping the like dislike button for each recommendation a, a, in Apple Music, a pop up informs the user that they'll receive more or fewer similar recommendations. On to card number 17. We're almost near the end. Provide global controls. Allow the user to globally customize the AI system. 
system monitors and how it behaves. So editor expands on spelling and grammar checking capabilities of Word to include more advanced proofing and editing designed to ensure document is readable. Editor can flag a range of critique types and allow to customize. The thing is, is that in Word, it's so awful at spell checking. I don't understand. Like it's been years and the, the spell checking never gets better. So they got to implore better spell checking AI, I think. Bing search provides settings that impact the, the types of results the, the engine will return. For example, safe search. Uh, then we have Google Photos allows users to turn location history on and off for future photos. It's kind of funny seeing like Bing in there about like using AI because at one point it's almost pretty certain that Bing was copying just Google search indexes to learn how to index. I don't know. That's Microsoft for you. Uh, we're on to card 18. Notify users about changes. Inform the user when AI system adds or updates its capabilities. Uh, the What's New dialogue in Office informs you about changes by giving an overview of the latest features and updates, including updates to AI features. In Outlook Web, the Help tab includes a What's New section that covers updates. So there we go. We made it to the end of the list. Uh, I hope that was a fun listen for you. And, and there, I hope that we could kind of match up the uh, the responsible AI. I kind of wish what they would have done is actually mapped it out here and say we're matched, but I guess it's kind of an isolate service that kind of ties in. So I guess there we go. Okay.